hello everyone in the previous video we got this issue that uh, this form is not submitting it saying that form construct one parameter so what's the issue so first we need to check that when we are submitting our forms our form is exist or not because here we are referencing this so this means that we are submitting the forms uh, if we are submitting this uh, pressing this uh, submit button from this form so it will grab this form okay so let's go here and here we don't have any form in the html so we need to first add the form and then we need to add our properties wrapped into this form okay so first uh, let's uh, grab this model model let me copy this uh, cut this out and uh, add them into the form tag because we are submitting the form right so here we don't need to define any action so we need to define the form id so i'm defining this so uh, ajax form right and uh, then we need to grab this id here uh, we need to grab this uh, id here so it would be uh, uh, we can save this into the variable so i'm saving this into form data and here i'm going to add this uh, uh, form uh, we are referencing this form and we need to add this uh, we can add this uh, like this zero right so why we are referencing this because we need to grab all of the forms values so here i'm naming this form and then i'm going to submit this uh, form to, uh, then i need to force this form here in the form data attribute and then we are referencing it into the form and here we are printing this form so let's get started uh, give it a refresh and test it that our form is working or not let's click on this here we are going to select uh, a category name and type and uh, yes now it's uh, sending our form so it means that it's wrapping our form inside this form data it means that now our form is working but one, uh, one more thing when we are submitting this to the server we need to make this uh, process false we need to also make this uh, content uh, false so why we need to do this because we want to don't want to refresh our web page we want to don't want to process our values so we want to just send them through the jquery so that's why we need to do this so i will tell you that when we are implementing this one okay so now we are going to submit to this form to the server so how we can do this so let me uh, pause the video and i'm coming back uh, basically i have added this uh, code in the later video for testing let me remove this from there and uh, also remove this stuff right okay so now we are going to submit our form to a new route so first we are going to implement the ajax call so ajax is a basically a jquery function so we need to submit our values through this ajax so you can say that it's ajax call so we need to first define the dollar and then call this ajax and then you need to put a curly bracket inside this because we want to pass some parameter to this so ajax right so first attribute would be url and this url is responsible for where we want to send our request so later we will define this so here that where we want to send our request the next uh, is here we need to define our method so which method we want to use so we want to send our values into the server so that's why we are defining the post because we are submitting our form to the server and uh, then you need to add here a data property which data you want to send to the server so you can if you have multiple multiple attributes you can wrap them inside the bracket and then after this you can implement a success function so which is responsible for if we uh, send our value to the server and uh, send successful so it will respond this into our success function so write this success function and uh, here i'm going to console dot log and i'm going to make this response i'm also got this response to this parameter response here so you need to also add one more for getting any error so if you are getting any errors this will catch your all of the errors 
so here I'm naming this error and then I'm going to console dot log this error so I want to check that uh, which will error we are getting this so we can debug this uh, we are using this for debugging purposes okay so here we need to define our URL so let's uh, go to the web.php file and here we need to create our post route because we are submitting our form to the server so we need to define the post route so which route we want to define the category slash store and here i'm going to call this uh, category controller so this would be a category controller so let me mm, copy this stuff from there this would be a category controller class and then i'm going to submit this on the store so i want to define the store method and here i'm going to also name this route so this would be a categories dot store right and in the controller i'm going to create this store method so let's go to the controller and create this method so here let me define the public function so it's pretty basic stuff you are already familiar with this one that's why i'm doing this uh, very faster so here we need to add uh, a request and then request this one and uh, we are going to return request all right so we are going to print all of our request when we are submitting our request okay so now our route is defined so we are going to reference our route in the url method here so we need to add the mustache sign here and then we need to define the route method or you can also use the url method it's totally upon you but i'm always follow this route because it's also suggest us and it's a good way to use this route okay so i'm going to define the categories dot store right so remember that you added quotes outside single quotes we need to add double quotes inside here okay so here you pass uh, which data so i want to pass the data of this form right so you can directly pass this here if you have only single tribute and then you need to uh, make this uh, process uh, uh, process content i think this would be a uh, content i'm not sure let me check that uh, uh let me uh, first uh, uh, let me tell you that how you can search this out uh, submit to form using a new form data jquery okay so this will tell you that how we can define the parameter so basically i am getting these parameter from the stack overflow so here let's go here and let me find the exact solution so it's a process data and other would be process content i'm very sure oh it will be a content type so first we need to define the process data process data this would be a false and then i need to define the second content type and this would be also a false and uh, i'm adding this after this uh, processing and content type false right and then i'm going to submit our request to the server right okay so let me a little bit to uh, add a space between them okay so now we are submitting our request to this store so if i go here we added this store method and we are returning spawn so now let's go to the web browser and submit this request that and check that what's going to happen so if we are going to get any errors we will fix this so let's click on this add category and uh, here i'm going to add this uh, mobile then i'm going to make this electronic save and it's getting any error so what's the error 419 so hope you are familiar with this one because this one uh throw the uh, level throw this error for csrf token so let's go to this uh, network tab so when we are submitting your request to the server so it will available in the network tab. So go to the network tab so you can view your request what is what is the exact error so let's click on this and it says, says that csrf token mismatch so it means that we are not passing the csrf token so we need to pass the csrf token when we are submitting our request to the server so you are already familiar that when we are submitting our form to the server we need to pass a csrf token in the 
HTML form. So now we are submitting this through jQuery. So we need to pass this form through this jQuery. So you can pass this so like here in the header tag, but I'm not going to add this in the header. Why? Because I want to add this so here globally. So when we are submitting our request to the server, again, again, you know, for example, we are going to send this five times. So we don't need to define it five times. So we will define this only once and it will be available for all of the Ajax methods. So here, uh, let me close this out and I uh, let, let's search this so add CSRF token to Ajax call search this like this and then you need to go to the link and then go to any website let me go to this Lara cost and then I'm going to copy some code snippet from there and paste this into my code so this is a pretty basic uh, code okay let's go here and it's telling us that it's uh, approved answer and it's uh, a very good reputation on the lara cost okay it's have level 50. i guess first we need to add this into our meta tag right because we created this create new blade blade and here we don't have any this uh, meta csrf token so we need to first add this into the html and then it's going to grab this token from the html and add this into the javascript okay let's grab this and i'm going to explain this what it's going to is what it's going to do okay add this here so let me add in a little bit indicated this okay so here we are setting that when ajax is set up we are going to send these headers uh, header property and uh, what we are going to send this we are going to send this x csrf, CSRF token it, it's a token key and then what we are going to submit this we are going to get this meta which is which we added this in the html and uh, in the meta attribute we are going to get this csrf token and it's uh, we are going to get this uh, content uh, uh, attribute right so let me explain it to you we are getting this from this name and what we are getting this from this meta tag we are going to get its content and its content is uh, creating this uh, csrf token so it means that now our CSS, uh, csrf token will be passed so let's go back and give it a refresh and check that our csrf token is working or not so far video is also going bigger oh it's going very bigger so let's click on this and uh, here I'm going to submit to uh, my request as to oops now I am clicking on it twice time so save and yes so now it's so uh, submitting this request let's go to the next uh, network and it says that uh, no properties so why it's saying that uh, no properties so let me go here we are submitting this form and uh, here we are adding this so uh, values so why it's not submitting i think i need to add this well function here uh no let me try it and then i'm going to if uh, it's not going to work i will fix this okay so let's click on this category fake filler chrome extension submit click on this store and it's still getting the no properties right so we are uh, getting this form we are submitting this here and uh, let me verify that we have this id yes we have this id and i will fix this uh, form issue and tell you that what's the issue why our form is not sending the exact values so before this uh, uh, let me check that uh, maybe it's no it's not an issue i will tell you in the next video so next one bye bye